for that maxed. Beautiful. Um, I've got four points. I should probably get linguistics because I have like everything else. Um, well, let's just like put something in there. And now I've at least unlocked everything. I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. <laughs> I have no books I can read. <laughs> Fine. I wasn't really looking for them. That that chapter anyway. Duriches, sticking your nose Jesus everywhere. Christ. Wow. What's the matter with him? Excuse me, monsieur. I don't follow you. I wow. haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why? What are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep the lance. Keep calm, okay. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short quick. Stab him with the lance. Look, I don't know what you're going on about, and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting rid of me so easily, Deriche. Where have you been? I should have punched him. I'm still looking for my mother, if, if you can believe it. I've been in the manor basement to check if she might have gone lost. And uh, did you find her? No, not a trace. I'm warning you, Deriche. I have got my eye on you. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from him. You know, this is becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying, or I will call the servants. Um, have a book. Very well. Fair is fair. You've exposed me. Here. This is what I took from him. Look, I'm sorry. I acted on a bizarre impulse. I don't know why, sir. And frankly, you have disappointed me. That said, All right, I passed it. Bad as I used and I got to keep the book, I think. Right. Didn't even hand it over. We leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, monsieur. Nailed it. Come on. I have to hurry up and join my mother at the wharf now. I'm trying. Damn it. The fuck they're actually blocking me in here. Uh oh. Ah, Louis. Perfect timing. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Actually, this works well. Because I'm going to side with him. Because I don't believe in the whole demons thing. So why would I go to my mother anyway? <laughs> Come closer. Please. This has worked perfectly. It's time we had a little chat. What's I'm going to reveal everything to him. Um, uh, tell me. What's with all the bodyguards? Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. Your mother's a demon. I see well, you fuck. running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will. And she's insane. And I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? So you're going to tell me she's wrong and that she's a liar? She's right. God damn it, they're both insane. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 Excuse years, me. <laughs> I have been this dear William Mortimer. A pass. <laughs> no. And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. Well, Morty, all you had to do was lie to me. And I would have helped you out. <laughs> but now that you've told me about demons, I don't know. I still just don't like his mother, so I'm probably still going to side with Mortimer. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. Rubbish. Oh, it's free. Of course you do. And you expect me to believe that, I Ow. suppose. Louis, demon is just a word. It all depends on what exists beneath the surface. I understand that this isn't easy. The culture of men is centered on the fact that demons are responsible for all the evils on Earth. But if... 
it's the same in every single culture, then maybe there might be something to it, don't you think? Certainly there is something to it. Control. Man has spent his existence wishing to believe in the supernatural and imposing his belief on others. What could be more convenient for manipulating the masses? A perfect, inaccessible being and a plethora of demons in every one. The perfect idea to relieve men of all responsibility while still finding them guilty. I like that they've randomly um, changed the spelling of demon from uh, the previous episode to this one. <laughs> That's nice. Um, don't care about that. Don't care about that. We'll ask this Lucifer, one. Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class. It's ridiculous. We are not angels. We don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families, and the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family, but it is very difficult kind of word, to know exactly my how many insane. there are, because a large number of our kind remain hidden, or never reveal themselves even to us. Oh man. Um, maybe those two. That one. What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago to kill all the demons. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No, I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appear to her in a different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. We spent many years together until I revealed my true the old book nature. Was <laughs> I just wanted to see if you would talk Did over him. About it? <laughs> Not so long ago, yes. That's funny. Indeed. It was already Al Azif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I can assure you that won't last long. Okay. But why me? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? It's... that's right. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. Okay. No more questions, then. Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come. You'll soon see. After you. Um. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences, and most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wanted to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates... <laughs> He's not even looking at him. Doesn't have to give He's just like looking over his shoulder. The ...subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject... I shouldn't have asked. I have... For glazed over for this explanation, I'll be honest. During which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but after living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. 
A family of demons is still a family, and as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude. So they're not demons, they're just like accept, affiliated with demons? No, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. The voice in Elizabeth's head. It was you. It was my father, to be precise. Don't care about Von Portrait. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, eh, I've good enough. to show you. Now, I'd like to see the proof. There, there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? Oh, logic. <sighs> I've got an idea, but it might seem stupid. Trust me. Am I one? I mean, am I a demon? Would you like that? Fuck yes. I must admit that the idea is appealing. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me. You are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep he banged my mom. Inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural charismatic presence comes from? That what now? <laughs> must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep? He's my dad. That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I, to you. I, what do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her. Gregory is your mother. It's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. I knew it. Well, my son. I've just realized I'm a lot more interested in this game up. now. Now that it's got really weird. Events since your arrival. Um... No. No, not really. I'm impressed by your no, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Proposed. Not to let yourself I'd worked out you were my father. By your emotions. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I... Hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... Uh, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. 
So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. Holy shit, is this actually going to translate to gameplay? Because this is actually getting really cool. <laughs> Don't care about that. But I'd be violating their minds, wouldn't I? No, no, nothing of the sort. You won't really be penetrating their sight. I'll just be able to read it. Let's just say you'll be picking up residual signals emitted by their thoughts. It isn't intrusive at all, rest assured. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear, what is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Holm? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. <sighs> Nice. You use a mind reading costs one essence point. Earn one back when confronted to immunity, two by exploiting vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Sweet, I've got a few of those. That's very exciting. Um, I know he taught me about it, but I probably shouldn't do it to him. I'll do it to a human later. You're right. I need to go now. See you later, father. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, Ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. Whoa. Wait, who was my mother, though? Come back. Morty. It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. <laughs> so, just, just for the record, um, the... Sarah, Sarah's, um, like, tactic was to yell at Louis and slap him and run away from everything, whereas Mortimer's was to tell him everything and put it all out in the open. So that's kind of why I'm going to side with Mortimer. Mortimer's just uh, a nicer person, I guess. <laughs>